What's going on everybody? We're gonna do this problem right now. Okay, so if x is the solution to the equation above, what is the value of x minus three? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get x by itself and then we can go from there. So first I'm gonna thing I'm gonna do is distribute the three and distribute the four into the parentheses, okay? So three times two x, that's six x. Three times minus six is minus 18. Then we still have a minus 11. And that equals four x minus four times three, which is minus 12 plus six. Okay, so now I'm gonna add up all the like terms. So we have a minus 18 and a minus 11, so that's minus 29, and that equals 4x minus 12 plus six, that's just minus six. So now I have this. So I wanna get all the x's on one side, so what I'm gonna do is subtract 4x from both sides. So now we have 2x minus 29 equals minus six, okay? And I want x by itself, so I'm gonna add 29 to both sides. So now we have 2x equals minus six plus 29, that's 23. So now I have two X equals 23. So if I divide both sides by two, I get X is equal to 23 over two. Okay, so now we have X, but the problem's asking for X minus three, okay? So what we have to do is we have to subtract three to both sides. So if we do that, then we get X minus three is equal to 23 over two minus three, okay? So I can simplify this now. So X minus three is on this side, and then I'm gonna rewrite minus three as minus six over two, okay? So if you divide six over two, you get three, so everything checks out. So x minus three is equal to 23 over two minus six over two. So now I can easily subtract these fractions. So what I can do is now say x minus three is equal to 23 minus six, which is 17 over two. So that is our answer, which is B. Really even start, I got that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps.